Hi everyone. Uh, nice job on the test last week, uh, test five. I was looking over how you did and the average grade, you know, officially is 71.55. That's taking into account some um, zeros on the test. And so like the distribution of grades for people who took the test looks like it's higher than that, probably around like 81. Um, so great job. So moving on from the neuron, as we tried last week, or maybe you're still um, catching up with that, what we did last week is we started uh, Unit 6 by looking at the central nervous system, which is the brain and spinal cord. And so I know I had a lot of material on the notes uh, for you to uh, do. Maybe you're still, like I said, catching up with that. But once you're done looking at the brain and spinal cord, we're going to move into the peripheral nervous system. That's what I have new for this week. So you can see, basically, we're finishing the notes this week by talking about the um, talking about nerves that are attached to the brain and spinal cord. So the peripheral nervous system, whether it's um, the sensory or motor or autonomic or you know the neuromuscular junction, whatever it is. Um, the peripheral nervous system must attach to the central nervous system, right? And so you can simplify that by talking about the nerves as they are attached to the central nervous system. And so that's how we're tackling it in class this week, by talking about the cranial nerves, the nerves that are attached to the brain, the spinal nerves, the nerves that are attached to the spinal cord, and then considering the different rules of the autonomic nervous system. But as far as uh, physically, the autonomic nervous system, those neurons are contained also within the cranial and the spinal nerves. So I hope that makes sense. Actually, most nerves are mixed nerves, meaning that they carry both sensory and uh, motor information within that um, bundle. So uh, taking a look at the notes, here we are on page six. And uh, let's see. Okay, and so we're starting here uh, with nerves. Okay, so this starts the peripheral nervous system. So we need to know the structure of a nerve, which I hope you also went over in lab, so that shouldn't be um, anything new, but I did make a, a video about that. And um, categorization of the nerves, cranial nerves and spinal nerves, and those are the two categories of nerves that I go over. And again, you probably talked about this in lab, so there's a lot of redundancy, which should help. So the cranial nerves, I give some, you know, information about these. In the book, there's a great table that goes over uh, each cranial nerve in detail, even more detail than you need to know. And then I put a chart in our notes that you could fill out. And I know there's something like this in the lab book. And if you wanted to, you could uh, watch the video, um, or actually watch the class that I taught on cranial nerves, if you want to see me fill out this chart. Okay, so if you're having any trouble with that, just pull up that lecture and I fill out the chart. Uh, then we move on to spinal nerves, their names, how they're attached to the spinal cord. In other words, the sensory root and the motor root or the dorsal root and the ventral root, uh, how the spinal nerves break into rami, what a plexus is, where the plexuses are. And also in the recorded lectures, if you wanted to pull up the one on spinal nerves, I would suggest pulling that up because I mark up this picture in that class and you might want to do that too, or at least see how you could think about this. I think that would be helpful even if you didn't watch the whole class. And then I finish the notes by talking about the autonomic nervous system. And so the autonomic nervous system is part of the peripheral division. The biggest difference between the autonomic nervous system and what we've talked about so far is the effector. So in other words, instead of talking about controlling skeletal muscle, with the autonomic nervous system, we're talking about controlling the heart, smooth muscle, glands, you know, things that are uh, under autonomic regulation. And so there are some anatomic differences. And so I talk about the two different divisions, um, sympathetic, parasympathetic. Basically, the way that those two divisions work is that both divisions innervate uh, all structures. So for instance, both the parasympathetic and sympathetic innervate the heart, but they have opposing effects. So they have, you know, antagonistic effects. And very typically, the sympathetic division will speed something up, you know, turn it on, compared to parasympathetic would turn it off, slow it down. That's the basic way that it works. There are some um, rule breakers there, but that's basically how it works. 
Uh, it's always a chain of two neurons, and I talk about that. Like I said, that's kind of the anatomic portion of this, what neurotransmitters are used, and um, and that, that does it for us with the um, nervous system. So the homework, let's take a look at that. Okay, and so here, again, are the recorded classes on all those. So the chart is filled out here. I mark up the uh, picture in the notes here. And then if you wanted to hear a longer description of the autonomic nervous system, please um, watch that class. And then these videos are mainly videos that, they are videos that I'm borrowing from other people that I'm recommending uh, this week. So if we take a look at the homework, Uh, the week one homework is the one that's due this Wednesday. I put a shortcut in for the week two homework. Uh, that's the one due next week. I will put out an announcement next week talking about how we're going to wrap the course up. But this is the last week that I'm giving you academic material. So we're, we're almost there. Um, so yeah, so once you finish this week and do this homework, the only thing that I'm going to have for you next week is to take test six. Um, and, and like I said, I'll put out another announcement and, and talk about that. So I hope you have um, a wonderful week, and I will talk to you next week, if not sooner, with questions. Feel free to reach out. Thank you.